Hello and welcome to La Nuit Blanche at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts. Yes. Uh, today we are going to be uh, doing an art activity uh, with Manuel Mathieu uh, yes. because he is exhibiting at the museum uh, in an exhibition, a solo exhibition called Survivance that you can all see on the website. It's a virtual tour and uh, it's really wonderful. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can see it after this. Uh, Manuel, what are we going to be doing today? Oh, good question. So uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to do a collaboration. Okay, right? amazing. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to kind of bring this idea of the artist that knows everything. We're going to bring that idea in our horizontal spectrum, meaning that we're going to have fun and it doesn't matter uh, um, if it's going to be good or bad. It's about us creating something together. So. For the piece that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to use as, a, as an inspiration or a reference the structure that I use in one of my paintings, which is called Manet, that you can probably see. Yes, I remember uh, And that it's painting. also in the exhibition. So we're going to have Manet. So the way I'm going to work on it, the way I start with my paper, for example, is uh, I put the paper in a, in a back with water, with, uh, with ink in the water. So what mm -hmm. it does is actually paints the paper to give it kind of like a pink-ish color. So this is one of the many ways that I prepare my papers. Uh, after that, uh, for this collaboration, what I'm gonna do using the same structure in my name, I'm gonna fold the paper. Uh, once it's dry, I'm gonna fold it, and we're gonna start working together. Okay, amazing, I love so it. So I'm gonna take it and give it to Kate, and see. we're gonna see what Kate is gonna Okay. Do for us. So here you have given me a piece of watercolor paper uh, that you folded in two. Great. That is tinted and I am going to use some ink that I have here and I am just going to go for it on here. And I think you usually work very intuitively, don't you, with the materials? I, I actually, yes, I do. Um, and um, I usually put things, the things that I'm going to be using around me and then I just go. Uh, there's no, sometimes I have a structure, sometimes I have a, an image source, uh, okay. but m most of the time I'm actually uh, doing it intuitively and trying to find ways to, to make things coexist and have fun, just like for the, sh for the painting in Mané, where I'm actually, um, I separated the, 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 the painting to have kind of have two different worlds in conversation together. Okay. This I'm is what we're actually going to be doing today. So okay, doing I love right that now, idea. Actually. <laughs> It's great. So here I'm going with different materials. I just use ink diluted with a bit of water and now I'm going on with a wax crayon right on top. I love the wax crayon. You see the, 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 the way that the paper is dry in places and wet in other places really creates a different kind Fun. of texture. Yep. Okay, I'm going to pass it back to you. Oh my god, the <laughs> pressure you is on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Nice. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna memorize uh, a little bit of what Kate did, which I think is fabulous. And I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna be working behind that that paper. So I'm gonna turn it like this, and I'm gonna start working on it. So what first I'm gonna do? I like to play around with um, with um, with water on the paper just to make it wet a little bit, not too much just to kind of diffuse the ink that I'm gonna be putting on it. Mm -hmm. So this is what is, this is my first step. Uh, I'm gonna start after that with a little bit of blue on a small piece, small brush. And that's gonna give me a kind of feel of something that is completely diffusing as I'm, as yeah, I'm playing around with it. Very beautiful. I love how the color bleeds out into the watery paper. Yes, oh, this is, Okay, this is this is interesting. Mm. Uh, I will do the same here. I'll just add more blue here. Just on top of it. Um, after that, I would definitely use a little bit of blue here also. So the idea especially on that one, it's to kind of break with the fluidity of the, um, of the water around it. So it really creates a kind of double dynamic yeah. that I really like. It, so it separates the, the, 
you can see how playing with this brings a kind of like extension also with the colors mm -hmm. and then put a little bit of red in there and I'm going to dry it all right just to show that everything's possible I just put ink with uh, pastel um, with color pencil That's so the amazing. idea is to kind of do whatever you want to do you know yeah do whatever makes sense to you so this is how I would this is what it is so this is a good start so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show Kate's work with mine and this is gonna be our collaboration piece oh, so amazing. I'm gonna turn it and this is what we have Very so I think nice. this is this is really interesting. You see how we have like certain, certain lines that yeah. kind of works together? Okay, this is it. I love it. This I think it's it. fantastic. This is it. No, I mean, can you, can you see how, let's say, this is, could be the eye and you have the mouth at yeah. the bottom? <laughs> I do this see is, that. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so this is what we just did. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. I'm going to send it to you so you can have a look at a closer look to our collaboration piece. I love Isn't that it. amazing? It's amazing. You know, I really like that idea of the two worlds sort of coming together oh my also. God, yeah. I think that's wonderful. This is, this is really like the sky and then you have the ground. Yeah. This is really beautiful. So great. So this is something that you guys can do at home. This is your Nuit Blanche activity. And thank you very much for coming, uh, Manuel. It was a it real was, pleasure working really with fun. you. I it mean, was amazing. Who's going to keep that drawing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It might have to be me. <laughs> uh, yeah, please do. <laughs> thank you. My pleasure.